What's by this is Richard Boy and welcome back to a new reaction video and today we're reacting to Doctor Who Season 3 Episode 10 Blink. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I don't know what to expect of this. I mean, Blink, what if there's a monster whenever you blink? The monster comes? I don't know. That's just what I think. This, just the title is kind of funny to me. That's why I said that. Blink. I wonder what Blink could mean. And there's just, just there's this random girl... There's just a random girl on the thumbnail. But anyway, I just got done watching episode 12 of Torchwood. Uh, Captain Jack Harkness and that episode was amazing. That's why I'm a little bit excited right now. I'm really excited because I want to see if there's any... Uh, I'm just excited because I saw that super amazing episode of Captain Jack Harkness. Um, but anyway, we're not watching Torchwood, we're watching Doctor Who. So last episode... What was last? Oh yeah, last episode was the ending. So a lot of my comments said that... <laughs> This is their favorite two-parter, and I, I can understand that, but it's not mine. Let's see. Let's see what some of my comments said. I'll shut you out too. None of them, none of them were like, none of them were like, oh, you didn't like this. You're you're stupid. You didn't like this. They were all they were all pretty nice. None of my comments are. I mean, only I only got one. Well, I only got I only probably about one or two comments that were ever mean, and they weren't they weren't even mean. Yeah. So okay. So. Ayaz or L Oz Hallett one said my favorite two parter knew who. That's very um that's very bold of you to say. It's only season three. You don't like season four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, or third is thirteen out yet? I think it is. Or thirteen two parters? You don't like any of them? Uh Andrew Gilliam, shout out to you. You just told me what a fabuch is. Uh okay, Doctor Who Short said this two parter is considered the best two parter in Doctor Who. How? I just want to know how, because, I don't know, I guess I'm not a, a die-hard Whovian, but like, but like, how, I don't understand, to be honest, like, I'm not, like, I'm totally not saying this two-parter was bad, it was really good, I really liked it, but I don't know if, I don't know if I can say it's my favorite out of the whole show, I mean, I haven't watched the whole show, but as of now, it's still not my favorite. When people, okay, and he said, when people said they don't like Series 3, they mainly meant the episode 42, and I, I liked 42. 42 was actually a decent episode. I'm not, like I'm not purposely trying to go against like the Dog 2 community. I'm not purposely going against because I hate when people say, oh that show's terrible, that show's still on, that show sucks, and I love the show. So I'm totally not trying to put down any Doctor Who fans. Uh because I hate when people put down shows that I like. So I'm definitely not like doing this on purpose purpose. But like I don't agree with all of these statements people say. Uh and yeah, just a lot of people have been saying this is a fan favorite of uh, of a two-parter for Doctor Who. Anyway, so yeah, let's go ahead. I put my, my little rant, my rant about, so let's go ahead and watch the Blink. Or just Blink, not the Blink. <clears throat> Who is grunting like that? Oh, Martha. Oh, wait, no, that's not Martha. The boost looks just like Martha. <clears throat> And no one has answered me this yet, but why does Torchwood have better, better quality than than Doctor Who? And they were they were made in about the same time. I assume they were made around the same time. The Weeping Angel. Oh, I heard about the Weeping Angels. Oh, and Duck. R really, Duck. Sally Sparrow. Sally Sparrow. Duck now. Okay, like, uh, if the walls are telling you to duck, I duck. Sally Sparrow, duck now. Who's- is she Sally Sparrow? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, the Weeping Angels, look. I didn't exactly know what the Weeping Angels were, but I heard about it. I heard about them, I mean. Don't even blink. Blink and you're dead. Why is the doctor on TV? Oh god, Sally, you met my brother Larry, haven't you? No. You're about to. Okay. Not sure, but really, really hoping. What? It's moved. It's what? Since yesterday. I'm sure of it, it's closer. It's got closer to the house. Uh. The doctor probably met you. Possible. I can't with him saying love. Who'd come here? 
Is that the doctor? And a burglar who wants to burglar burgle this dump? I was told to bring this letter on this date at this exact time to Sally Sparrow. Has to be from the doctor. Oh. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. This is creepy. She was called Kathy Nightingale. Kathy Nightingale. Kathy? Uh, is this a joke? Is that your friend? Is that your friend from the future or past, maybe? Kathy, is this you? Uh, Kathy, just take the note. Kathy? Read it and you'll know. Now Kathy's in trouble. I'm not in hole. Stop saying hole. Who are you? Hole. Why are you here? I made a promise. <clears throat> Who to? My grandmother, Catherine Costello Nightingale. Don't have that in London. There's no call for it. It's all Hull. That's your grandma? December 19... 1920? Did she have a baby with him or something? Then they had a baby who had a baby who had it. Who was him, maybe. My dearest Sally Sparrow. If my grandson has done as he promises he will... <clears throat> And as you read these words, it has been mere minutes since we last spoke. For you. For me, it has been over 60 years. Okay, this is what I'm getting that she lived in 1920. Well, she lived in the time period and like lived there forever until she died. At this time, if these like little angel things are like that, they are no joke. Look! Hey, the special effects team did their job. I don't know how they were able to do that, but... I told him you were 18, you lying cow. Oh. How old were you? How old was she? 16? He works at the DVD store on Queen. Sorry. Quite possibly. Alright. Is the doctor trying to reach? Right, no. <clears throat> oh. Hello. Sorry, sorry again about the whole message from your sister. Oh, okay. What? What is it? She said to say she just sort of mentioned it. She loves you. Now that's nice, isn't it? She ill? No, no. Am I ill? No. <laughs> yeah. You know how on DVDs they put extras, you know, documentaries and stuff. Well, sometimes they put on hidden ones, and they call them Easter eggs. You have to go looking for them. Follow a bunch of clues in the menu screen. He's like, he's a ghost DVD extra. Just shows up where he's not supposed to be. But only on those. Those 17. Well, what does he do? Just sits there, making random remarks. It's like we're hearing. People assume that time is a strict progression of cause to effect. But actually, from a non-linear, non-subjective viewpoint, it's more like a big ball of wibbly-wobbly. OK, that was weird. Like, you can hear me. Well, I can hear you. Okay, that's enough. I've had enough now. I hate enough. Enough. how she's so Bad day. so uh deniable. She is so in deny in the in denial that she doesn't believe anything. If a TV was talking to me, I talk back to it and keep on talking. I wouldn't pause the TV. Oh, so every time she blinks, they do something. They take the blinking opportunity. Okay. Uh, Masi, can you tell them I'm going to be late for that thing? Where's he from? I like his accent. All of them. Over the last two years, yeah. Ah, the pride of the Wester Drumlin's collection. Um. Found that there too. Somebody's idea of a joke, I suppose. Why is, is the it? TARDIS there? Well, it's a special kind of phone box for policemen. Are you on duty, Detective <coughs> Inspector Shipton? Nope. Knocked off before I left. Told them I had a family crisis. Why? Because life is short and you are hot. Oh. Drink. Is that your phone number? Just my phone number. Not a promise. Not a guarantee. Not an IOU. Just a phone number. He got her. 
But, uh, why is he making that face? Oh my god. Blink. Blink. See what happens. Oh shoot. Oh they took him. They they took him. They snatched him. He's not there. Oh where is he? Where am I? Whoa. It's not bad as it goes. You got the moon landing to look forward to. Oh the moon landing's brilliant. We went four times back when we had transport. Really? This is my timey wimey detector. Really? Your timey wimey. <laughs> Who named it timey wimey? Is that was that his idea? Oh, I see. So an old man's gonna come. The doc. So the doctor's been saying deliver this message at this exact point in time. But how would he know? <gasps> I mean, like if he let's say he's twenty. Let's. I don't know why I think all of them are twenty. That's not uh, that's not his deathbed, right? He's a little too young to be on his deathbed. I mean, her name was Sally too. Really? Yeah, we think for Sally. Sally Shipton. Sally Shipton. <laughs> two thirds of the universe. Where'd you get that from? There's a man in 1969. He sent me with a message for you. What man? The doctor. <laughs> and what was the message? Just this. Look at the list. What does that mean? Is that it? Look at the list. He said you'd have it by now. Have you noticed what all 17 DVDs have in common yet? I suppose it's hard for you, in a way. How could the doctor have even known I had a list? I only just got this. I asked him how, but he said he couldn't tell me. <sighs> how many more people are going to be victims to the angels? Phantoms. Me. Oh. You've only got 17 DVDs. Uh. Do you have a portable DVD? Let's see. Let's see. Are you gonna talk? Let's see. Let's see. Let's there see. He is. <laughs> he's the doctor. Yep, that's me. See? Okay, that was scary. Uh. No, it sounds like he's replying, but he always says that. Yes, I do. And that. Yep. And this. He can hear us. Oh my god, you can really hear us. Of course he can't hear us. Look. Who are you? I'm a time traveller. Or I was, I'm stuck. 1969. 1969. <clears throat> We're stuck. All of space and time he promised me. Now I've got a job in a shop. I've got to support him. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. I've seen this bit before. I'm writing in your bits. Yeah. <laughs> this is possible. Tell me. Not so fast. Uh, people don't understand time. It's not what you think it is. These oh, are linear lines. He didn't say that part. Very complicated. I'm clever and I'm listening and don't patronize me because people have died and I'm not happy. Ugh. People assume that time is a strict progression of cause to effect. But his, from a non his things are so vague. His replies are vague so I can't tell if he's actually replying in live. I'll not hear you exactly but I know everything you're gonna say. Oh. You always give me the shivers of it. Really? How can you know what I'm gonna say? Look to your left. What does he mean by look to your left? I've written tons about that on the forums. I think it's a political statement. Wow. It means you. What are you doing? Are you writing? Your bits. That way I've got a complete oh. transcript of the whole conversation. Wait until this hits the net. This will explode the egg forums. You're reading aloud from a transcript of a conversation you're still having. That is so confusing. Actually, never mind that. You can do shorthand. Well, I understand so? what he's doing, but it's still what really confusing. No one quite knows where they came from, but they're as old as the universe, or very nearly. And they have survived this long because they have the most perfect defense system ever evolved. They are quantum locked. There's... They don't exist when they're being observed. The moment they are seen oh. by any other living creature, they freeze into rock. No choice is a fact of their biology. In the sight of any so they're like living things, but... Oh. Loneliest creatures in the universe. Oh, these are some pretty, these are some pretty cool, these are, these are cool, uh, 
like it, monsters. I don't know what's called them. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I got to like explain this a little bit for my understanding, and I don't want to talk over the show. All right, so I need to close my eyes for this. So the doctor went to the future to grab the transcript that the guy was writing down for all of Sally's voice cues that she's having a conversation with the doctor. But for her to have voice cues, the doctor would have already had to have the cues so she could do, so she could reply to his cues. Uh, <sighs> this is really cool. And like, okay, okay, okay. Like I said, but the doctor would have already had to do the video for her to do the voice cues. So when he first did the video, he wouldn't already had he wouldn't have had the voice cues, but it all started with, oh my, okay. That's the thing about time travel, though. Like, you never, it, it, time travel is pretty confusing. So, like, he always said it, it didn't, doesn't go in a linear line, it's more like a ball. I think he said that. But yeah, in order for him to do the video, uh, Sarah, wait, no, what the, uh, Sally would have had to do the voice cues that the guy was writing down. But, like... Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't, wow. I explained it, oh man, okay, let's go. Oh! <sighs> wow. That scared me. <clears throat> so, like, those are, like, real people. Those are, those are, like, real, no, not people, but those are, like, real entities doing all this, but as soon as you look at it, they become stone. Whoever came up with this idea was really a genius. I like these little angel people. Look, it's getting closer. Look, there are three window panes. I would... So they can't even look at each other or they'll turn into stone. Why is it pointing at the... Oh! You know, you can't see stuff when it's dark. Those things are ugly. They look like Julius Caesar. There we go. They better not go out and say this bigger on the inside. The angels are doing that. What? What? Oh. The TARDIS is leaving. That's messed up. So look, look, if they just keep not looking at it, maybe, maybe when they look at it and look down, maybe oh, he screwed up already. <clears throat> he tricked them. The doctor tricked them. They're looking at each other. Oh. Cause like to become to become unstone to become to become an unstone person, they have to not look at each other, but they're gonna become stone forever because they're looking at each other now. One year later. Are they together? Can you mind the shop? I'm just in the next door for some milk. Yeah, no worry. Can't you let it go? Of course I can't let it go. This is over. How did the doctor know where to write those words in the wall? How could he get a copy of the transcript? Where did he get all that information from? It's really important that we stop it. Oh my God, it's you. It really is you. Oh, you don't remember me, do you? Look up, Martha. Look, sorry, I've got a bit of a... You're the guy on the TV. Tell him, you're the guy on the TV. Oh. Okay. Listen. One day you're gonna get stuck in 1969. Make sure you've got this with you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Listen, listen. Got a dash. Things happening. Well, four things. Well, four things and a lizard. Okay. A lizard. What? Well, the political people are lizard people now. Like how everyone always expected. Ah. <laughs> uh, why does he have a bow and why does Martha have arrows? Sparrow and Night Nightingale, Aquanarian books and DVDs. Who are these people? <clears throat> Don't turn your back. <coughs> Don't look away. And don't blink. Good luck. Is this to say 
Is it to say every single? I don't know why I'm so low down. Is it to say every single statue in this universe is not a statue? Is that what they were telling us? I got a whole lot to dissect. So uh, if you guys don't like reactions, I mean, if you don't like discussions, go on now. If you like discussions, whew, I have a discussion for you. Okay, so first things first is how the transcript worked. So, so it was the doctor's future that it was kind of like that. So she was having a, uh, uh, Sally was having a conversation with the doctor. Hold on. So Sally was having a conversation with the doctor, but the conversation hadn't happened yet until the doctor grabbed the transcript that then was able for the trans. So in order for the transcript to be born, the doctor had to have the transcript before it was born. <laughs> There, there we go. That, that's the explanation I'm getting at. And then, what else was I gonna say? I, I forgot for some reason. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. About the the uh, little little stone people, the weeping angels. So that they are a really good like uh villain. I love the I love the what do you call it? The I love how they work. So like they're like little monsters. They're like they're like they're things. They're things that can move. But if anyone sees them, they are frozen and turn into stone. So then they always have to roll around doing this, you know, walking around doing this until someone sees them. Where they have to do, well, they walk around doing this, and then whenever someone sees them, they do this. So like they don't look at someone forever, so they can come back. But if uh, two weeping angels were to do this or were to do this, look at each other. They wouldn't have the means to unfreeze and do that. Ugh. This was a really good episode. I know, like, I stopped. I know I stopped a couple of times during the episode. And I don't like to do that. But it was just too much of a good episode for me to not stop it and explain some stuff. For my own well-being. Because people who've seen this probably... I mean, I don't know. Um, Let me know if you understood. Let me know if you understood what happened the first time around because I know if I was younger and I were to watch this, I would have been like, what is going on? But luckily I watch other time traveling shows so I could kind of expect I kind of figure out how that worked. Um <clears throat> This was this was a great episode. I'm watching some great episodes today. I'm watching some great episodes. Um anyway, so yeah, I want to say thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.